Hey friends, welcome back to the Maple Leaf Barn. I'm Libby and today I am doing something I've never done before, so um, I thought I'd bring you along with us so you could see what I'm doing. I bought some ladybugs and we're going to release them into the garden and see if we can help maintain some healthy balance and eat aphids and thrips. Those are my two top uh, things that kind of frustrate me in the garden. Those are my top pests. Instead of using any kind of pesticides, even if they're organic synthesized, I like to use God's nature. My thought is that if God created little insects that will eat other insects that are pests, um, and we can bring in beneficial predators to eat those pests, I'd rather use that than say, like even an organic spray that might get rid of the thrips or aphids, I'd rather use something else. So I'm excited to use this for the first time and just see how it goes. So here it is. I know I haven't been posting videos super regularly, but it has definitely been a struggle uh, setting up the farm and having a toddler and a newborn. So um, I'm just giving myself a little bit of grace and I just appreciate everyone who's still hanging out with us and coming along for the ride as we start our new farm uh, at our new property. So in any case, thanks for subscribing and liking the video. We'll see you in the comments. So you can see here that I already have some ladybugs. This is a new ladybug that was just hatched. It's a little yellowy kind of um, and then the more mature they get see look at all those icky aphids in there leave those alone please the more okay so here's a ladybug that looks like it got dehydrated and died so this is a ladybug this is a ladybug larvae it looks like it got eaten or something so it's not gonna make it but ladybugs are the best way to, to eat a ton of aphids pretty quickly and let's see if I can find any more um, Wow look at that Please release soldier bugs, ladybugs at dusk or dawn. So it is pretty close to dawn, so I think we're in a good spot with that. Store ladybugs in a household refrigerator until you are ready to release. Misting the foliage before may improve performance. With ample food and moisture, ladybugs can begin to reproduce immediately. Simply sprinkle the ladybugs onto the infected plants. How to release ladybugs the right way. So you're supposed to store the ladybugs between 34 and 45 degrees. Do not freeze them. Store in a refrigerator up to two weeks. Avoid direct sunlight. Well, I want to release them right now. Prior to release, irrigate foliage to improve performance. With ample food and moisture, ladybugs can begin to reproduce immediately. Tip. Apply good bug diet to foliage in order to attract ladybugs and other diet um, beneficiary insects. Release ladybugs at dusk or dawn. Cloudy days are perfect. It's a super overcast day, so that's wonderful. Release ladybugs on and at the base of plants. Ladybugs are, oh, ladybugs like to crawl upwards as they seek food tip plant good bug seed mix to attract beneficial insects to your yard all right so let's talk about the release rates so here they have to light to moderate infestations 1500 per a thousand square foot this is cool it shows you the life cycle of the ladybugs and so if you've ever wondered what those kind of look like. If you've seen some of those on your plants, they are good. Do not squish them. <laughs> all right, and this is all from Nature's Good Guys. And um, so far, so good. Okay, we've got ideal conditions. It was just rainy yesterday, so I think there should be enough 
probably um, on the plants already. Oh, moisture, that is. So let's just go ahead and release some of these. I'm going to release them on um, my sunflower row, my um, amaranth, my amaranth, and then down there are some snapdragons. And then we're going to move towards the back and put them out there on the others. So you can just see that my amaranth has been just consumed by some aphid issues. And so I'm going to go ahead and release them into this section. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look at this. Hold this, Cooper. Don't squish him. Just hold him right here. Don't squish him. Okay, this is really cool. This has multiple multiple things happening that I can show you. Okay, so this is a ladybug eating aphids. You can see the little black dots are aphids. Okay, so then up here, this guy, this black and orange, is a ladybug larvae. And this is a weed, so <laughs> it's so funny. Weeds. But it's kind of cool. And then you can see another ladybug tucked in there into the leaf. I don't know if you can see that. But this is clearly a good spot because there's a bunch of aphids right there. So let's see if I can find uh, any aphid. Mom, ladybugs stay in my... Ladybugs don't hurt you, Cooper. Don't uh, you give me that. Uh, That's a silly excuse. Oh, look. There's another little ladybug larvae. All right. No, I'm going to get it. I have to open this and I forgot to bring out scissors, so just give me a second. Oh my goodness, this is just covered in aphids. Do you see all of that? All those black dots? Those are all aphids. And it's a weed, so one reason why you want to weed consistently is because aphids can hang out on weeds, but not necessarily all your plants. So. Anyways, look at this amaranth. It's just like crazy wild. Okay, here we go. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dropped quite a few off. Whoops. I'm trying to spread them out so that they're evenly dispersed, kind of. But <laughs> they're bugs. What are you going to do? Okay, you're starting to get all over my hands, bros. How about you come over here? Oh my goodness, it's on me. <laughs> get off. Okay, I think I need to take a break and focus on actually getting them off. But essentially, I'm just dropping them on the plants. And they're going to go to work for me. All right, here we go. Well, you never know what you're going to find. So, check out that dude right there. There's a frog. There's a frog. Okay, but anyways, look at this. Go eat. Go eat. There's like a ton of aphids on this one. Go eat all my aphids. Oh, look, he flew away. <laughs> There's a frog right there, Cooper. What? Ladybug larvae. Come on, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. That's a word of baby. Thank you. One touch it. Don't hurt it. It's just let it crawl on you like it's crawling on me. Okay, I gotta get this guy off. <laughs> He's tickling me. Another 
guys and you on. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, put it up kind of over here. Yep. I want to do it. Please. Okay. Walk, no, walk over this. You got to walk this way. Okay, come do it right here. Do it right here. Two hands, maybe. All right, now let's move down here. Okay, good. Now let's move this way. to these flowers over here. Oh, it's a family. It's a family. That's cute. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.